Today is Cora's first day at school. Yay. <laughs> Are you excited? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We need to get table mass. People do not take water to drink. I need to drink water. water to drink. I mean to drink here at home. Stand up, let us see your uniform. Come on, come on, stress for us. Eh? But she needs a jumper. We're going to get the jumper from school. What's the jumper? The like sweater. Yeah, something like sweater. Yeah, but not. There's sweater and there's jump. There's cardigan and there's jumper. So, are you ready for school? Yes. And you're happy to go to school? Yes. God will be with you. Okay. Okay. You shine bright like a diamond. Okay. Okay. Everybody will favor you. Everything will favor you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, go. Continue your food. So you, you the shop food. You when are you going to school? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. No, you're supposed to go tomorrow, but we don't have your things yet. So we're going to buy your things today, and then you go to school on Monday. And we also need another car, cause I cannot go and drop you with leg. I'm gonna drop this one with leg. It's not possible. So we need another car. Mhm. Mm Hi guys, good morning. How you guys doing? I'm a pink girl. <laughs> yes. So this looks so orange. But yeah, today Cora is going to school. I'm so excited. We're almost late. Well, not not um, well, well. If we don't go soon, we're going to be late. Hi Sophia. Hi so so. Eva is supposed to go to school tomorrow, but we don't have the things they asked for, and my husband is not around during the week, so it's only on weekends that we can do shopping. But today, because he took excuse so that he can take Cora to school and all that, we'll go and, as in not took excuse, he decided to work from home. So we'll do all the shopping today. But from what they said, we're supposed to name every single item, like. I want to tag every single item that we get for her. So I just told myself, I beg, we're not going to have time for all that. So that's number one. And then number two, we have just one car for, for now. And their school are in two different locations. The schools are in two different locations. So um, we have to get a second car. So my mother is trying to get like a second car for us to, for me basically, so I can be taking them to school and doing my own thing, which I'm going to be happy for because I'm just waiting for somebody to come back. Boy, mm -mm -mm, I don't like it. And I need to even start knowing places and finding out things. I actually have um, my driver's license here, my international driver's license. I just renewed it anyway. So at least I can use it for one year. So I want to use that one year, learn how to drive, learn how to go to places, learn all the road signs so I can now get my... UK driver's license so that's my goal but yeah I'm happy I'll be happy if we get a car soon and I don't even care the kind of car I don't, I don't, I don't even care about cars before so I don't really care all I want is a car that works and is big enough to carry me and the kids that's it but I even need other things it's not even just shopping we need table mats here I need some kitchen stuff I need a bowl what is it something on your teeth I need a bowl, I need too many things here, so I need to do like house shopping as well, even some food items. Thank you. What happened? It was that you have a good time. Okay. Hmm. You don't just be here opening no, mouth. You are Monday, I'll, I'll wish you a good time, okay? You can't hold your sister, you're going to miss her. Eh! <laughs> Sophia, you will not miss Cora. Yeah, come and eat, come and eat. Chewing gum, Eva. Gum in body, gum body, gum in body. It's so strange how Eva turned out to be the most clingy gum in body child in this house. It's really funny. Who would have thought? Hmm? Who would have thunk it? Come on, that water is still too much. Reduce it. You can drink some out of it. Have you drank water this morning? Yeah. Can drink, drink some. Eva, have you drank water this morning? And drink and then go and bring your gummies. Okay. What is me, it? Yeah. Me, Cora. Me, Cora. Hi, Eva. Hi. Are you ready for school? Show us your uniform. I want to run my uniform too. Uniform. You're not going to school. You don't have school. I right, stand. Let's see your uniform. Whoa. Stand well now. <laughs> hey, hey, Cora, go and stand. <laughs> hey, Sophia, stand. Whoa. <laughs> So remaining your where is your cardigan or your vest? Oh my! 
Good morning guys, how you doing? You guys, I just dropped my kids at school. I drove them to school for the first time. Actually, yesterday, because my husband, you know, rented a new car, I don't even know the English for that thing, shall Sha lease the new car for me. I practiced yesterday, so I drove to their school several times, you know, drove us to other stores and stuff, okay? Drove us to the other house, because yes, we still have the other house. <laughs> <laughs> running so we drove to that house we just washed some clothes there just did one or two things there then i drove back yesterday but still my head she was still doing me as if hey god oh, i'm going to be driving alone without because i mean yesterday my husband was inside the car so it wasn't that scary but this one without him in the car I was like hey god at all hello but it wasn't that scary at all it was just i mean I, I drove slowly and the good thing about it is that all the speed limits are actually very low like 20, 20, 20 miles per hour, whatever. Is it miles of the whatever? Kilometers per hour, I don't know. Whatever. But shall 20. <laughs> it's 20 in most places because, you know, schools are around and it's residential area. So I was driving slowly and nobody was honking for me or like I wasn't feeling rushed or anything. I mean, most people were driving slowly anyway. So it was actually cool. Um, so I've dropped Eva in her new school. Eva is starting today. Cora started last week. But Eva started today. And the thing is, coming to UK, I just realized that me and my children were all giants. Like, <laughs> me and my children were too big. Because in in Cora's class, Cora is the biggest. In Eva's class, Eva is not even like big normally. In Eva's class, Eva looked like the biggest when I was dropping her, okay? In fact, you think Sophia is her classmate because Sophia followed me to go and drop Eva at school. Drop both of them basically, but you know, she came down, we went into Eva's class. You think Eva, you think Sophia is the person I was bringing to class because Sophia was more on the same size with most people that were in her class. So, anyway, um, Eva in her quiet way, you know, everybody was talking to her, she was just looking at them. So she was gone, but I just started feeling bad for Sophia, you guys. I have to go and find daycare for Sophia, like, I can't, I can't, like, I felt really bad for her. She was telling me, please, let me just go to Cora school, please, let me just go to Eva school. Chai, I felt really bad because, I mean, she has been going to school in Nigeria, so coming here and then leaving her at home all day without her sisters, uh, you know, it's somehow, I said I was going to try and engage her, you know, do some kind of homeschool situation, buy toys for her, set up, you know, a place for her, where every morning when I drop them in school, we'll come back, she'll be in that place, not the living room, I don't want to be in the living room watching TV all day, you know, so that was my plan initially, which I might still do, but I'm going to tell my husband, let's go and register her. Although he's not the one stopping me, funny enough, my husband's not even stopping me at all. He's even like, he's even asking me, <laughs> isn't she not supposed to go to school? It's me that has been dragging feet, but after seeing the way she reacted today, I have to go and look for There's a, there's a daycare close, not too close, but around here. I'll just go and apply for it now, now, and see if she gets in. Um... Yeah, just so that in the morning I drop all of them. The only thing with me and daycares is that I don't want the one that they will go to school 10 o'clock, come back 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock. Meanwhile, her sisters are going to school 8.30 and coming back 3 p.m. So it's going to be me driving up and down, up and down. So I'm just going to find out details about the school. If I see that the timing is not convenient for me, then I'm not going to put her in this, in this daycare because if I'm not careful, I'm going to spend my whole day driving up and down, like just... You, you maybe you come back you just have two hours to eat and rest next thing or eat and walk which one is rest <laughs> you have two hours to eat and walk and next thing you're rushing again no 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 anyway i'm just going to find out all of those details and see if i'm going to put her in school let me just spare you guys the long story sophia did not get in she's on the waiting list around easter they're going to start allocating spaces for september so we're not even sure she's going to get in in september but whatever the case is she's stuck with me till september let me tell you guys something i just remember something let me just sit down for this i forget talking too much so hmm, you guys eh? if you've been following me for a while you know that i'm one of the preachers of i'm not a strong woman don't call me a strong woman i'm not trying to be strong okay let them see me as weak let them see me as uh, not 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 strong i don't care okay i'm talking about in relationship with you know your husband your partner whatever i don't want to be perceived as oh she she got this i don't got this i don't got this okay i know i always say these things and it has always played out in my life in these little ways in the sense that because i am not forming superwoman for anybody my husband actually takes care of me very well okay like when it comes to chores and you know just general taking care of me very well he actually does it right but it hasn't really played out as obviously as it is playing out right now that i am in the uk okay so 
It's just now I'm really realizing that my husband has this perception of me that this one cannot, eh, 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 let's not even, let's not stress so, like, he sees me as someone that, <laughs> and it's funny, funny enough, he sees me as someone that likes stress in other ways, right, of which it is true, there are things that, to other, to most people, they see it as stress, but to me, it's like, it's what makes me happy, you know, things like, if you leave me here, I can go and sew my kids' uniform from scratch, just so like to fit them better, okay, I'm that kind of person, like, I can do it happily, I won't feel stressed, I can, I'll, I'll rather grow my, a, a ginger from scratch instead of going to buy it in the market for how many cents or how many uh, uh, what they call it pence or what is pounds smaller denomination I don't know anyway like instead of me to go and buy ginger 100 naira in the market I'd rather grow ginger from scratch in my backyard right so in that sense to most people oh this person likes stress but in other cases some things I see women do and I'm like how how can you you like stress because how can your husband be in the house and you be doing certain things like it it it, bust, it used to bust my brain when your husband is around he's not sick nothing's wrong with him and there are certain things as a woman you're now doing in the house because ah your husband doesn't know how to do it or your husband is uh, is lazy or whatever ah it's it, it's it confuses me okay so I hope you guys get my point I'm all over the place somehow but you guys get my point so when we just got to this UK right I was happy that. That is how my marriage is set up because you know that even down to opening an account, my husband was the one that opened my account for me. Like he took my phone, downloaded the app, did everything he did. If you ask me now, how do they open accounts in the UK? I don't know, but I have I have two accounts. <laughs> in so many ways, like we didn't have to get a second car, but he was like, no. I was only trying to initially I wanted to be like, ah, uh -uh, what is there now? I can walk the student to school. I mean, I did it last week, okay, before we got the car. But I did it for only Cora, okay? And Eva School is a different direction. I wanted to argue, like, no, no need, no money, new car, let's not waste the money, let's hang, 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 hang. I almost did that. Later, I just had to tell myself, Omo, don't start what you cannot finish. If he wants to get you another car, let him get you the other car, because he wants to buy, actually, but he didn't seem to buy in the, in the price range that we're looking for, right? If he wants to buy another car, let him buy for you. If he wants to lease car for you, allow him to lease car for you. Don't go and start what you cannot finish. Only for today, you guys. Today is the first day I'm driving them to school, right? Today, the weather was minus 3 degrees or something. Like, there was ice on the car. The weather is so cold. When I say so cold, I mean so cold. I was like, thank you, Jesus. So that's how I'd have done Superwoman finish. I would have done a better summer. Let's save money. We're not here to, to spend. Let's save money. <laughs> I would have done that finish. He would have driven himself to work early because he goes early to work. He would have driven himself to work early this morning. Then me, I'll now be battling three kids. He even bought a bicycle for Sophia so that, you know, Sophia can be riding bicycle while I walk the kids to school. So me, I was even already set thinking, okay, we've got this. But he was not comfortable. He kept searching for car, kept until he ended up losing this car. And I'm so glad that he did because I don't even know how to have managed on the road with Sophia ever in this cold, okay? I saw that people on the road, though, but they're used to the cold. So I know that most kids go to schools very close to their houses, right? So walking on the road, even if it's very cold weather, if you are covered up very well, walking on the road is not such a bad idea. But Eva did not get the school that we wanted her to be in, right? That If Eva had gotten the particular school that we wanted her to be in, we wouldn't have really needed a second car because it's on the same road with Cora School. Like, you pass Eva School before you get to Cora School. But the way it is now, you will go to Cora School on X axis. You will go to Eva School on Y axis. Then the house is on Z axis. <laughs> it's, like, it's, a, it's like a triangle, basically. No, not a smooth triangle, like a kona 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 triangle, right? So, yeah, we, there's no way we would have done it without a second car. In fact, as I was driving, Ever to school today, I was like, thank God, dude. thank you, Jesus. So, hey, hey. Anyway, that's how I've talked so much already. Um, let me just go and change. I need to change this. I feel it needs to be hot because inside the house is quite hot. Not too hot, but it's hot enough. So I need to go and change. I need to get lunch ready. I need to arrange some things, do some work. And then I know that three o'clock is going to cause it close by three. I know that three o'clock is going to come like blink of an eye. So let me not even stay here now and be thinking I have time. I know that I don't really have time as much as I think. Okay. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. I have to do something tomorrow. We're going tomorrow. I'll get Cara. Today I have time tomorrow. I'm not feeling well tomorrow. Team. If I can sit down. So we can do a nice gym. Alright, who gave you the gloves? I'm just going to buy friends. You know how in the car you remembered when I had lip gloss in my pocket? 
I forgot it till I reached school. Let me see the lip gloss. It's in my bag. Which one is it? That's your um lip gloss. Lip therapy. Mm. Which lip therapy? Yeah, I'm doing this one. My channel, okay? Okay, this is my channel. My channel too. Okay, our channel. Our channel. Okay, so tell me how was school today? School was fine. Mm-hmm. What did you do school today? I ate pizza, I ate fries, and I didn't eat my corn. <laughs> and I ate crunchy cake, but I didn't eat my corn. Sophia, you're making noise. Is it that one with, is it chocolate cake? No, I ate, it's crunchy. Is it that one with chocolate things on it? Yeah. I ate that same thing too. Did you make friends in school today? Yes. Mm-hmm. Who are your friends you made? Eva and Sophia and also it's in my friend but I don't remember her name. <laughs> so you only remember Eva and Sophia? Yeah. So what do you like about your school? I like it that everybody was nice. And at play time they they made me to play four times. Okay, so what is the difference between school in Nigeria and school here? And which one do you like, do you prefer? I prefer school in Nigeria. Mm-hmm, why? Because school in Nigeria has all my friends. Okay, aside your friends, which one do you prefer? I prefer school in UK. Mm -hmm. Why? Because all the teachers are nice. What do you mean by nice? What makes them nice? Can I say something too? Yeah. Number one, in my school, I think school here is better than school in Nigeria. Because number one, teachers are nice. And while I'm saying teachers are nice, I mean that like, let's say I want to go to the bathroom while a session is going or something. And then I, I'm really pressed. I ask the teacher as she say yes. And then let's say I want to like go for playing without even finishing my work to allow me and then also once i'm doing my work i don't need to finish it she's the one who will tell us to stop whenever wherever we are even if we are not done and then let if it's break time we can go and play that's what happened today during math i didn't finish i only did two questions one was correct one was like i didn't complete it then by the time that she said that it's break time, I just went for break. But in Nigeria, don't they don't they allow you to? Nope, nope. You have to finish your work first. It's mm. a must that you finish it. Mm -hmm. Mom, we have to finish. Eva, you too. Yes. If you don't finish your work, you don't allow you to go for break. Yes. You no. stay in the class and if you didn't finish your food, you finish it till you're done. If you finish it in time, you go. Another reason why I like UK better than um nigeria school is because Ni nigerian school most teachers like shout and shout and shout and shout let's say i didn't finish my work she'll shout if i if i didn't finish my food she'll shout but mostly in um uk which is here schools if you don't finish your food you can just go and trash it but if it's home food you can just leave it in your pack till you want till you're hungry again and you want to eat it. Mm -hmm. If it's home dinner, you can just go and throw it in the dustbin. If it's not, then you just put it, leave it in your lunch bag. Mm -hmm. Don't think that it's a normal thing. Or don't come to the house now. And when you don't eat, you don't finish the food, you can't trash it. I finished my food. No, I'm just saying that at home, don't carry that same mindset that if you don't finish your food, you just can't trash it. Uh -uh. You must finish your food. It's in school that you can do that. If you don't finish your food, you can't trash it. At home, you go chop and finish. Okay. And thirdly, um, school in Nigeria is a bit annoying than school in UK. Okay, how? Because... Let's say um, I don't, 
I don't know the answer or something, then you don't skip it. You can't skip. You have to do that answer. You calculate, 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 calculate. Till you get that answer correct, they'll still come and teach you. If you still not get it right, you still have to calculate, calculate, calculate. If you still don't get it right, you have to calculate, calculate, calculate again. Till you get the answer right. Mm. Uh, Eva, what's your own? When you don't finish your work, they'll not allow you to to go out for break. They'll let they'll tell you to stay in the class while others are going out for break. Mm -hmm. And also, school in Nigeria, we had a debate that children should not be like forced or things. And they should choose their own. Um, they should choose their own desire. But here, if you don't really finish your homework, you have to just do it again. But you don't need to go to the principal's office on anything. Go in UK. You can you can skip things that you don't know. And and the teacher will do it for you. And if you don't know it, the teacher will will when if you didn't get it, then when you're done, the teacher will do maybe and she'll tell you the answer. Who was saying that school is like a party? School Me. is like a party. Is My it like a party? My class, there's crayons, markers, everything. You can like draw. You know how there's lots of markers, things, 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 mm. But if you come early in 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 my school in Nigeria, then they will not actually allow you to do any doodle -doo books, drawings, markers, things, things, things. They they will not even allow you to do one thing. The first thing that you do is pack your is unpack your you don't pack your bag and and sit down or go to the hall. So another thing in UK that I in UK school there's one more thing that I don't like mm -hmm. because everything has been about Nigeria school, Nigeria school. But there's one thing I don't like about UK school. Number one, no, this this is just the only answer. Let me just not say number one. At first. Let's say you're tired, you want to go to the class and you want to like lie down and sleep small while everybody's playing. They'll tell you to go and play outside by force. You will not like just stay in the class while Nigeria. That's how, that's how just I... In Nigeria, you can like stay in the class, sleep, whatever you want to do. But not really color and those things and scatter the class. That's sweet. You can just sleep or stay in the class and sit down if you're like tired or something. Then also when you want to go play in Nigeria after school, you can mostly if you don't see your parents or your parents don't come to pick you yet, then you stay in the class and just be drawing or something. Well, there you go sit down inside somewhere and be playing with toys. I'll be playing like. with toys. Where? In the UK? Yes, this place. There's a like, I was sitting down close to lots of awards and things. So the, I was so bored. See, so you came and rescued my board, my board. What should I call it? My board in my board <laughs> by the bed. I don't know. My rescued dash. you from boredom. Me, re, me, 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 rescued me from boredom. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did I? Okay, so it's Eva's turn. Eva, uh -huh. what, what do you not like about your your school here? I don't like any. I don't don't like any thing about my school. You like everything. Mm -hmm. Is it because it's just it's today's your first day? Uh, On your first day, you can be very like more nice than any other day. They'll be so nice to you. They will allow you to do anything. They're so nice. On your, your first day. day. Mm -hmm. So no, they don't allow you to do anything. They allow me do anything I want to do. Like let's say I want to draw, I can draw. Mm. At playtime, I can draw. Mm. Sometimes. 
when I was the new person. Now, off it now. I'm busy in you now. Off it, off it now. Thank you for giving me a long talk. Everybody go and change. Why? Hi guys, so I have seen some comments about me making my vlogs longer. You guys have been complaining that my vlogs are too short. And I hear you okay, but the truth is that who go edit them? <laughs> Who's going to be editing the long long vlogs? But the truth is, I, um, I will try and put out long vlogs. At least this vlog is quite long. I'll try and put out long vlogs. It's just that I have not set to yet. You guys, a lot has been going on. I haven't even made like real-time videos yet. I think this portion of this video is the only real-time video I have made. Like I'm putting out this video the same day you guys are watching it, right? That is this portion of the video. But you know, like I've not really been making real-time vlogs. I've just been like the vlog, this vlog now that you guys are watching was filmed, was it not two weeks ago or three weeks ago when the kids just started school, okay? So, speaking of which, I want to address some things because I know that I'm supposed to get comments about it or questions about it. Ava and Cora are not in the same school because Ava's school and most of the schools around here, the schools are divided, right? They have the schools that are between four and seven years which is where eva falls under then they have the schools that are from seven to eleven years which is what cora falls under right cora is turning eight in february eva is turning six in february so we can't put them in the same school now the only school where i can put that is that is the only school which is kind of close by where i can put the two of them, it's, it's it's not even that close, actually. That's first of all. It's not even that close. And they don't have a good rating, okay? Eva school has a good Ofsted rating, right? But when it even comes to, like, parents' rating, it has the best. Like, it's 5 over 5. It, like, her school has 5-star rating. But for the off, Ofsted, or is it off, off, whatever that rating, it is good. The rating is good. Therefore, and it's, it's close by, it's just that it is a different axis from Cora school. Eva school is actually two minutes away from my house. Cora school is three minutes away from my house when it comes to driving. But there are two, two different directions. Then from Eva school to Cora school, it's about five minutes driving. But walking is like, it's, it's, it's very long. So yeah, the school that I can put two of them in, or actually three of them in, that school is from three to eleven. It doesn't have a good rating okay and it's not it's not that close either but i would have if it was if if, if the school had a good rating i would have preferred it at least even, even though i'm going to drive longer i'm going to the same place and all my kids are going to be in the same place okay cora school has an outstanding offstead rating okay so basically they are both in very good schools and they are they like their schools so that's why i'm not really like bother because i've got some people saying oh you can appeal it you can tell them you can play the sibling card you can do this you can do that yeah i, I know i can do all of that but i can't even do it for their schools that are that i want okay the schools that i like i can't do it for it because the age limit is the age limit i mean we they can create class for cora so that cora will be in the same school you know but the particular school where i wanted eva to be in initially it's also a good rating, but it's on the same road with Cora School. That school is very close to the daycare I want Sophia to be in. Okay, that is this the school that Sophia is on waiting list for is not even just very close, like they're beside each other. It's almost like they're linked, right? So what I've what I've decided to do is what I'm I'm doing right now is Sophia is on waiting list for that daycare. So I'm going to put in Ava on waiting list for the junior school or the school that is beside the daycare right so she have register eva there so that eva will enter that school in september so eva will also be on the waiting list for the school that is close to sophia's school so that way from september i'll know that i'm driving in one direction so i'll drive drop sophia and cor and eva in school then drive to cora school or vice versa i can drive all of them to cora school drop cora then when i'm on my way back i'll, dri I'll drop eva and sophia so I decided to just add this part for anybody that is asking. 
I was wondering why, you know, Cora is in a different school, Eva is in a different school because they are siblings. And I know that according to the UK, one thing, one thing, one thing, um, siblings have pref preferential consideration when it comes to, you know, a school allocation. Yeah, but the reason why they can't have explained myself. Anyway, and for those who are saying, why are you explaining yourself? You're a grown adult. I mean, I understand you guys and I know you guys, you know, supports me that's why you are saying that but at the same time i like to give clarity to some things just so that people are not you know filling my comment section with wrong assumptions or wrong comments speaking of wrong assumptions and wrong comments i have gotten a lot of them of which i am addressing some some of them i'm just gonna leave it as it is because yeah as you guys can see clearly <laughs> i'm not in the mood <laughs> you guys i'm so tired today <laughs> I'm so tired today. I can't even explain what I'm going through today, both physically and emotionally. I don't know. Today has just been a, a, a an off day for me. The weather is quite gloomy too, which might be part of it. I don't even think it's part of it. I just I'm just tired. I think today I am actually tired. I did a lot yesterday and did a lot this morning. It's like one hour away from school time, like from school pickup, and I'm like. It's almost like I've been on my feet for the past two days. But anyway, I'll tell you guys about that in a different video. By the way, you guys, I am starting back my second channel this February. Okay? I'm starting back my second channel. So please, 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 please go and subscribe to my channel. Reality Check with Adeze is going to be in the description box. I'm going to just try and, you know, go back to what I was doing before. I mean, I can't do interviews again because of, you know, the whole situation. I can't do interviews again. So I'll just go back to, you know, talking about interesting topics, you know, just bringing inter interesting topics, trending topics that, you know, I find fascinating and I'll just talk about them. Hopefully you guys like it and you guys can send in your suggestions as well here or on second channel of what you want me to do with my channel. Again, like I said, the suggestion, so I can take it or I might, I might not take it, but, you know, I want to know what you guys like, just so that I'm not making content for myself alone, because sometimes I actually make content for myself alone. Me, I know, say, some videos I put out, I know that I'm doing it for myself, <laughs> but I just put it out because I like that balance. There are some videos I put out that it's not even, in fact, it's for my kids to see in the future, not really because I, yeah, yeah. so, but I want to have that balance. I want to know what you guys like to see. Anyway, is this video long enough or I should add more? <laughs> um, yeah, I've not really vlogged outside much because I've not really gone outside much. But once I start going out, once, you know, I start, I put, once I settle down very well, I'm not settled though, you guys, this is one month after I have not settled. But once I settle down very well and start walking up and down and going out and doing stuff, I'll carry you guys along as usual. I mean, that's what my channel is for, just basically showing you guys what's up. Um, yeah, but for right now... Just anyhow you see the vlog, just take it, okay? Just take it and know that things will get better. But yeah, hey, I want to, I want to even say, I plan to say this in a different vlog, but you know, I can also say it here as well. Thank you guys so much for all your support. You guys, it has been overwhelming. I can't even, like, I can't even sugarcoat it. I can't even form, ah, whatever, like, I'm used to it. Nope, I ain't used to it. The love has been overwhelming. It has been so much. Thank you guys so much. Like, I really appreciate it. Like, every 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 video I put out, I see prayers, I see confessions, I see prophecies about, you know, how things will work out for me, how the land will favor me, how UK, you know, how things will go well. I, and, I, and I appreciate it so much. Like, thank you guys so much. Um, I wanted to make, like, a whole video about it. I'm, I'm still going to do that. But I don't want this to, but I don't want it to be that every time I'm addressing some off comments when I'm not, I'm not really addressing the good ones, like, you guys, I really, really appreciate all your comments and all your love and all your suggestions and all your DMs and all your reaching out emails everywhere. Like, hey, I'm like, eh, so do you people actually like me like this? Wow, I didn't know. I, I actually did not know. Because to be honest, true confessions, you guys, I used to feel like I'm not that relatable. Will I say not relatable? I think I'm relatable, but to, I used to feel like I'm relatable to a very small audience. I used to feel like most people don't see me as real or don't see me as, you know, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I used to feel that way. I don't know if it is imposter syndrome that's worrying me or anything, but I used to feel that way. But the love has been overwhelming, you guys. The, you know, people tapping into blessing, people praying for me, people sending me messages, you know, people trying to help. You know, there are people that are trying to help as well. Like, I, I put out some comments... 
Like I put out content and I see people telling me, okay, no, do this instead. No, do that instead. Oh, don't do this, do that. And I'm like, wow, you guys really care. I hope you guys really care. I hope it's not just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, before I start talking like someone that is drunk, I hope this video is long enough and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Hopefully, I am more upbeat there. Hopefully. But yeah. Bye, guys.